Okay, now my mic is unmuted. Perfect. So, um... I guess th this is being asked, yada yada yada. I already ran the intro, but my mic was muted. Whoops. So, question was, how do you get the alternate skin for your dwarf? Uh, the answer is Photoshop, actually. Uh, so we might as well sit down and take a look at how to recolor your dwarf in Scrap Mechanic. Now, admittedly, there is an online tool for this. I don't know what it is, and I have no interest in finding out. I, I guess if somebody could link it to me, I could always do, like, a quick overview of it, but, um... Specifically for me, uh, I actually found the textures and opened them up in Photoshop. So let's, I'm going to quick Alt-Tab. Let's see if I can switch this to Display Capture and get it to work. Uh, please work. There we go. Okay, so you guys should be able to see what's going on. Um, we're going to, we're going to just go over the basics on how to retexture your dwarf. It's actually really easy depending on what game you're in. Um, some games, some games just leave the textures open to you, some don't. Uh, let's see, so let's load up. This is a little thing I have called Clover that gives me tab browsing for my for my files. It's actually really nice. Anyway, so I think it's under, it's not under cache, data, character. There we go. And textures. So, to reiterate, you go to, you go to properties on Steam, local files, browse local files. It will bring you to this folder, uh, scrap mechanic. You go to data, character, textures. And that brings you here. Now, a lot of these textures are kind of random, like the these are the uh, the Anoimatron boxes. Their textures normal map. We don't want to mess with them. We can maybe recolor our tools, but I want to test that. Uh, you can recolor your female character, and you can recolor your male character. Um, so I actually already messed with this a little bit. Uh, so if we get, if we take a look at these, these are some uh, these are some specific. Uh, Photoshop files that are already made. Uh, so why don't we do, that's hair, let's do chest. Which actually is the entire body except for the backpack. Uh, the, like, metal things. Uh, and, like, the shoes, I think? I actually don't know if the shoes are included on this. Let me see. I actually don't know where the textures, oh yeah, here, here's the, uh, textures for the shoes. So if we want to have, uh, different colored shoes, we come here. There's also, uh, something specifically for the hands. Um, and in my version, I believe I just made it white, like pure white, so I could get the, like, kind of white weird gloves and stuff. Uh, unfortunately it takes a little while for Photoshop to load, so, uh, I guess bear with me. Yeah. So there is a online tool for this, and I guess I'm gonna quick Google that. I don't have any objective, objectionable tabs open. Do I? Nope. Somebody was making fun of me for, for reading a uh, shoujo man manga at one point. I was bored, what can I say? Anyway, crap, mechanic, skin. Let's see if I can just find it with a basic Google search. If so, then you guys can find it and figure it out yourself. Let's see. I don't know, whatever. Photoshop's just about loaded, so I'm not going to look at it too hard. Okay, here we go. Uh, so this is my Photoshop document. On uh, how on like the basic dwarf texture, so let's hide all the modifications I made. So this is the regular texture at the bottom here. Actually, no it's not. Um, let me hide some of these things. Unfortunately, whenever I load up Photoshop, it really does not like to load, so it just freezes for some amount of time, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, but this is sad. Normally I edit it edit this out, but I'm li live streaming it, and I also don't care. Okay, here we go. This is what the generic, um, textures are. So, orange overalls, red jacket, uh, I, that's actually the neck texture, here, here, and here. We don't really want to mess with that unless you want to have, like, kind of a weird Oompa Loompa Dwarf, which you could have. I've seen somebody do a video with their Oompa Loompa Dwarf, but I didn't want to do that. Alright, so first and foremost, uh, what was this layer for? This is an overlay just to mess with the colors and kind of identify some things. Obviously, I didn't want to go with it. Okay. Um, and this is me trying to do, like, uh, recolorations, which actually works, because what I ended up doing was, um... Here, let's hide this. So I cut, I cut the next section out, I cut the overalls out, and then made a recolored version just by doing here. Let's, let's copy this over and see. So I make a copy of layer two, and then if... Uh, this is all only if you have Photoshop, which is unfortunate. Where's the mouse? Oh yeah, let's fix that. You guys can't see. 
I forgot I had turned that off. Okay, now you can see the mouse. So, um, so these are the layers. This is this is the base layer down in the bottom. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we've made a copy of layer two, which is the overalls. Let's make them. Uh, what color? What color overalls do we want today? I mean, luckily we can just uh, mess with the hue slider until we get something we like. Uh, I personally liked kind of a blue jean overall, just because. But let's say we don't. Let's go with a, a deep purple, like a deep blue purple. Uh, this is this is the one I chose later. But let's go with this one and let's desaturate it a little bit. Not too much. Maybe make it a little bit a little bit darker. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. That's the next neck texture. We don't want to touch that. In fact, I'm gonna lock the layers. I could technically change it so he's got like a white. Uh, a different color wife beater, but that's way too much work and I don't want to deal with it. Okay, and then we've also got these up here, which I didn't touch. There's something else that I have hidden. Oh, right. What I did, um, is, if I turn this back on, here, let, let's turn the base ba layer back on just to show what things are. So this is the coat here, and the reason why I cut this out was so I could recolor the entire coat without having to change things around. So we've got the, uh, got the this music is a little loud let's crank it down a bit okay there we go so we've got the basic red of the coat now that's what these layers are for um and because i cut out the the neck layer and the you know overall layers that means that uh any changes i make to any of these lower layers doesn't affect any of the upper ones so i can recolor the the uh, coat as much as i want so i went with a hot pink originally i also had like a purple uh, unfortunately, I can't do too much. I could actually paint over this if I really wanted to, but that's work. So, let's turn the purple one on, and let's go with a, let's go with a green. Now, obviously, I don't actually want to use this, but this is just for, um, oops, let's create a link. Uh, that's, this is obviously just to kind of show things, show how things work. So let's make a copy of my, um, my original, my, I guess, my original edited texture file, and let's save this one as a, I believe it's a PNG. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna have to quit out of scrap mechanics to get this to work, because it only loads the textures when you load into the game. <laughs> Just make it a black square. Oh, god. That'd be really weird. Okay. Unfortunately, scrap mechanic also, uh lags a little bit when I get into the game, but, eh, whatever. I mean, it's early access. Hell, Minecraft barely even runs, and that game has been around for ages. Okay. Honestly, this probably is not going to look very pretty. We'll see. Purple and green can look good together, but I think in combination with everything, I just realized I'm the Joker. Backwards, but still the Joker. But yeah, so that is how you uh, recolor your textures and have a custom dwarf texture. Uh, unfortunately, this does not show up on multiplayer. Your friends will not see you for the fancy pants dwarf that you are. They will see you as the same dwarf as normal. And if you give them their your textures, then everybody will be your fancy pants dwarf, which is why all of, uh, all of the other male dwarves look exactly like me. Eventually, I would like, uh, I'd like to have the capacity to have, you know, different textures for different dwarves, and I hope they have that soon, but for the time being, they don't. Anyway, people are saying, make me into the Black Void. Alright, let's make me into the Black Void. Uh, I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna keep a little bit. Let's hide this. Let's just drag all this down. Okay. And let's do the same thing with... Ooh, hi. You know what? Let's do that. That looks hilarious. Okay. Uh, so let's do save, PNG. Let's replace this one. Now, there's a lot of, like, weird... Uh, fuckery that I could do. I could actually do a, um, a complete inverted texture on every single bit of the dwarf and have the nega dwarf, which I might do just for, just for giggles, but, uh, this is what happens when you give him black. Now, if you notice the light is still hit, hitting him, and there's a little bit of detail available, that's because I didn't mess with the normal maps. Uh, so let's pull that up. So if you notice here, there's this kind of, like, weird iridescent purple, uh, image. This is how light hits the thing, uh, sort of. I don't know, I, it, I could go into more detail, uh, but it's only for, like, really big 3D modeler type people. Uh, so in this case, if I blackened this out, it probably wouldn't have any of the light on it. But yeah, this is how you get a black coat. But, uh, 
Okay. Uh, so somebody found the skin creator for us. So let's load that up as the last thing. It's A-U-X-L-U-X dot com slash creator. And, oh, okay, that's better. That was horrifying for a second. Wow, this is actually pretty slick. Uh, so... If we want to have the black void. This is what the black void would look like. Unfortunately, there are certain textures it doesn't touch. Specifically, the headband, the pouches, and the, uh, t-shirt. Weird. I wonder why. Alright, whatever. And a couple other things. So my way technically has full control. You can change every single texture and every single color and even change, like, the lighting and stuff. Um. But, uh. This is kind of horrifying. I don't know if I can change the eye colors. Yes, I can. <laughs> oh, that'd be interesting. I'm not going to do it, just because I'm lazy and I really don't want my dwarf to look like a horrifying creature. I just really want to show you guys how I managed to do this. Um, and obviously, if you don't have Photoshop or you don't know what you're doing, I'd recommend just going to oxlux.com and using their uh, character texture thing. Because it's slightly worse than what I've got, but for most of you, that's more than good enough. Uh... Let's, let's make one more horror dwarf before we're done. Yeah, so if you notice, there's slight coloration, I think, on the normal map or something like that. I actually don't know how this is coming across, but... Ugh, don't want. Anyway, uh, that's how you color your dwarf. Thanks for watching, guys.